Hi darlings, I hope you're all all right and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another React and this time it's part two of Science and Technologies. So I hope you're all getting ready to be ologized within an inch of your life. And let's just say hello to Min first because she does get jealous if no one acknowledges her. She's a bit of a drama queen and she's a bit of an attention whore. I know somebody else like that. Anyway, let's get on with it. So transport museum. Lovely. Any car enthusiasts out there? Well, I wouldn't say I'm an expert on cars. I've got an husband for that. But I do like driving. And I like Gary Newman, if that counts. But you like driving too, don't you, Darlene? You like the bumpy cars, don't you? Ones that bump into curbs and animals mainly. We call them dodgems over here in England. Oh, that's a cute little car, Min, isn't it? That's like something Noddy would drive. I wonder where Big Ears is. And here's our Noddy now. No, it's not really. It's not really. I'm only joking. It's not really mean. It's our Sala in his camel jumper look. Striking a pose. Catalogue man. Oh, look. Some nice ships and some boats and some yachts are oh, mean. Actually, mean, you know, is a little bit of information for you just to get to know me. You know, my father's father's family are all naval. You are. I know I don't mean belly button. I mean naval, as in Royal Navy men and uh, the Merchant Navy. Yeah, they're all sailors or limeys as they're known. Fish fingers are in my blood, Bab. And here she is, our very own Titanic men. I hope our sailor doesn't sink her. Although he, I suppose he'd need a pretty big ice cube, wouldn't he, Bab? And she'll need a pretty big door, one the size of a king-sized mattress if she's to get rescued. I only hope that she'll have the breath to blow that bloody whistle. Oh, look! It's a special foodie bath. Have you had that specially commissioned, darling? Oh, look, all those cars. Oh, that takes me back. I think I'm going to get triggered here, darling. You know, I remember RJ used to have little toy cars, you know, buckets full of the buggers. Used to tip them out on the rug in the front room and organise them by colour and size and all the rest of it. He used to love it. But boys do, don't they? They love their tonkers. How to ride this bike? Well, first of all, darling, you need a penny, and then you need a farthing, and then some advanced yoga skills, I think, to get your leg up. Look how small the seat is. I know, Bab, your ass would gobble that right up, wouldn't it? So weird. Well, I'll give you that, darling. It's not exactly BMX. This one reasonable, but how about this? Oh, my God. That woody bike. A bike that gives you a woody? Oh my goodness. It's probably the friction on your undercarriage that does it. You want to get yourself some padded knickers to ride that bike. Or else it'll be like striking the match. You'll go up in smoke. Okay. Whoa. Nice car. Mm, it looks broken to me, darling. Has that bloody food you've got her hands on it? It's a classic and unique car. It is, just like the couple showing us round. <laughs> Sponsored by Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings. Well, you need bloody wings, don't you, darling, to fly to heaven after having a heart attack after drinking all that bloody Red Bull. It's no good for you, sweetheart. Here he is, look. And there she is down there. Hey, babe. 
<laughs> Do you think he climbs the stairs just to get away from her, just to have a little bit of a respite? It must be really hard being adored like that. He's astronauts. Yeah, just like your Space Cadet subscribers. My lovely wife. Ah, he's so sincere, isn't he, everyone? <laughs> Come on, wind it up, darling. <laughs> like Not much robot. happening, is there? You don't get much movement for that much hard work, do you? In the olden days, you had to do everything by hand. Mm, you still do with some jobs, though, don't you, darling? Although that's married people talk. Shut your ears to it, food. <laughs> He's still going, love. <laughs> and the past is so exhausted. Mm. Unbelievable. Wait till you see what you've got ahead of you, darling. God, the poor booker. <laughs> so hard, really. Mm. Magic. Yeah. Magic ball. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> oh, I tell you, Dan, he's so clever, isn't he? Oh, here she is. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the cockiest Mary of all? Cheeky bugger. Foodie beauty. That's what that bloody mirror will be calling back. Hi, Chantal. Hi, Salah. Oh. Salah, who's the screechiest bab? Our foodie beauty, that machine, or Gladys when he answers unwanted phone calls? Where's the skinny one? Is this the skinny one? <laughs> <laughs> so you look so skinny and you look so normal darling <laughs> oh. I tell you what food I tell you he's got your skip down to a D he really has so he's a clever didn't know he could dance <laughs> Mr. Rifai, can you tell us about your latest movie? Yes, well, actually, I was inspired by Sam and BBJ. And Are you really, darling? Hmm. Why? Is it a snuff movie? It took us a lot of work. And Did it? The crew was so wonderful. It was that? It was a really wonderful experience. I wonder how it went down for the buses. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Thank you for attending the interview. Thank <laughs> you for having me. I've always wanted to be a movie star. And oh. Sal has always wanted to be C-3PO. And he's almost there. You are, babe. <laughs> Today's forecast is cringy thumbnail poses with a side of sexy eyebrow. Sexy? What are you on about? Bloody sexy? That's not sexy. That's serial killer. I'm getting tired. Oh, <laughs> yeah, darling. You're not the only one, sweetheart. Min's bloody knackered look. Oh, she's nearly fell asleep then. Are you creating a vortex? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I make the vortex. Yeah. I bet you're dead good at running baths, Sala. Where's the bath bomb? Oh dear. I said the wrong word again, sorry. It's scary in here. Well, reach out to your husband. He's stood right next to you. Well, I think he is anyway. But don't touch that. It's not nice. Not in public anyway. Oh. Oops. What is... <laughs> They're taking photos, oh. I think. Robots are cool, but they're creepy. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, darling, you married him. Perhaps he'll get some artificial intelligence. That would be nice. Can you hear me? I'm trying to wake him up, though. Oh, oh. Hello, robot. He's working on himself. Hi, nice to see you. I am Alan. Yes. It's nice, isn't it? It's like a family reunion. Fabulous. Biggest ever. Is it? Ooh. Whoa. Looks like a Power Ranger. Actually, it's got a touch of my ex-boyfriend about him. He was a big lad. He played rugby. I wonder if this robot's an arsehole as well. 
Oh, no, look, it's like little and large. Which one's which? Answers on a postcard. The prize is winning a coconut. <laughs> oh, Nokia mobiles. Oh, my God. What a nice memories. I hope that memory's not of sexting. We'll have none of that hanky-panky on this channel, thank you. I'm sorry for the motion sickness, but I walk like a monarch penguin, so... You also eat like a penguin, darling. Straight down. So what do you think of that then, Min? Not quite as long as the other ones. You haven't had quite as much ology to swallow today. But what did you think? Are you feeling inspired, darling? Are you feeling this 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 urge of, you know, discovery and Einstein-ness coming over you? You are. Oh, well, she just wants a couple of toast and butter before bed and a nice cup of tea. Well, that sounds a pretty good idea because I should, I should go to bed really myself. Like, oh, my God, look, it's ever so late. I've got to get up in the morning for work, kids. And you've got to get up for wandering around a field. Anyway, I'm editing like mad, guys. I really, really am, you know. Until I see you next, remember, always remember, I love you all loads and loads. I really, really do. Take care of yourselves, be good, and if you can't be good, walk like a robot. See you later. Bye.